Okay, now it's time to apply the fire. And as you've seen on the bonnet before, as we showed previous, the screaming skulls and the skulls all burning behind the fire. And this is what we're going to start with. Using the Skull Mania templates, what I'm going to do is start by painting, putting the skulls into position. And I want to do them randomly. I don't want to really put them exactly the same. I just want to randomly put them in there. So I just throw it up and wherever it lands, that's where it goes, okay? And now using, I've got um, white base coat in my airbrush. I'm just going to paint directly straight through the skulls using the white. Of course I want this to look like it's in fire. What I want to do is, is bring the white off this leading out so it would be like flames burning up behind the panel. You don't need to um, paint around every edge. You just let these lines join all those flames up. We've got light bouncing off every different direction here. So there'll be light coming from the bottom of the chin. So I'm just gonna, just testing my airbrush and I'm coming along now, laying a soft line around the bottom of this chin area here. And right on those tips of those, um, the chin bone there, around the top. What we're trying to do is add the form or the shape of the thing in. Just to make sure I have all my bases covered, I'm just going to lightly dust the whole thing. Why I do that, this will give me, over these areas here, it will give me a grey tone, okay? So this will be like my mid-tone. So I've got my highlights, my mid-tone, now all I need to do is add the shadows. So grab the black airbrush now. Okay, so. What I want to do is start by going around the edge. Why I'm going around the edge is I'm, again, adding contrast here because what I want is my dark, my darkest dark against my lightest light, which is going to make this skull pop out. I'm doing this fairly quick. Again, I've done this a million times. And everyone says to me, but what if you make a mistake? And I go, what, a mistake like this? Oh no, you know, that it doesn't matter because we're using these stencils, we can eliminate these mistakes very, very easily, okay? We've laid our white down for our highlights, we've put the black in for the shadow, and now it's time to come and clean all these mistakes up that we've made and clean these edges up. Again, the white and using the shield. And all I do is place that shield of the template back into position. Okay, line it up the best I can. And then just paint off that shield again. Basically erasing all those edges that we don't want. And by going around this edge, this, is, this will sharpen all those soft lines or that black that, that looks a bit wobbly in the start. So, I can now take it off. And as you can see, all these pieces have disappeared. Now it's time I'm going to paint my centerpiece, which will be a real gnarly skull behind it. And I'm going to do all this freehand. So I'm just going to get into this and paint it and create it as I go. back on the car and we've done the blend up the sides. Now it's time to remove the flame. Okay, what we need to do now is just grab the edge of it and just remove it back across itself at 180 degrees. Slowly 